I'm finding so much joy from organizing my dresses. I think I have a hard time editing them because dresses feel like girlfriends. Hi you guys, welcome back to the Be Jones Style channel to 2019. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can go right down there below, click on the subscribe button. I do new videos every single Thursday, but let's just jump in. This is my first video of 2019. I took my January break. I got a lot of messages from you guys that you were sad and missing my videos, but thank you for letting me take a little bit of a breather after the holidays. It feels good to kind of refresh a little bit. Now I'm back making all new videos. I've got all kinds of fun ideas coming for you guys in 2019. First, I am so excited because today's video is all about this closet behind me, cleaning out my closet. I have been getting this request for a very long time. I did a live January last year where I did a closet clean out, but I just talked about my process versus actually showing you my process. And today, that is what I'm going to do. It's Saturday and I really am going to clean out my closet and I'm just going to let you guys kind of into the whole process it's not going to be so much of like a tips and tricks it's just going to be here's what I do here's how I do it and you guys can kind of see behind the scenes on how I do everything I will say my closet is not really unorganized so I don't feel like I'm organizing my closet it's just gonna be about how do I edit my closet so there's two ways to do this when I did this before I took every single thing out of my closet all at one time and I thankfully have hanging racks that I put them all on I'm not gonna be doing that today what I'm gonna do and this is honestly kind of how I edit my closet more or on a regular basis is I'm gonna take one section at a time out. I'm gonna go through each category on a rack one at a time. I do wanna be a little more ruthless today in terms of getting rid of some things. I've noticed, and I'll share this thought process while I'm doing it, but I have noticed because I film all these videos for you guys, I'm always thrifting, I'm always vintage shopping. I am getting so much stuff coming in that things I would have maybe held on to into the past because it felt, you know, special or, you know, oh, I found this. I can't get rid of it. I don't feel that as much anymore. I don't feel an attachment to pieces as much because I, I just kind of know the influx that I always have. Something you guys requested is that I try everything on. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we would be here forever. This would be the longest video in the history of YouTube. So let me just show you a few things first so that you kind of know how I'm prepping for my closet clean out. So this is my closet. It's sliders right here and then it goes to there. My husband is on that side, which is really funny because he barely has any room. This is all that I have. It's nothing crazy, but I do have an organized with top, bottom, a center rack where I hang my long things, and then a little section over there that I'll show you that are my skirts. And as you can see, it's pretty organized. It's not all unkempt. I have my shoes down here. So I'm not working with a mess. I just am gonna kind of pull everything out and decide what I'm gonna keep. Now behind me is my problem area. This is my rack that is everything that I have been collecting lately that I haven't been putting in my closet and it's a mess behind me. This has just been recent finds, new shoes, uh, that chair has become a collector's <laughs> chair of all the new pieces. And so all of this stuff needs to get put into my closet behind me. So I'm gonna go get my empty hanging racks. I'm gonna do one that is for pulling all of the clothes out on. And then I'm gonna hopefully have another one that's everything I'm getting rid of. Okay, as you can see behind me, I have this rack here. I also have a rack right there. This is gonna be my pieces that I'm gonna get rid of. This is gonna be my entire section. Right now, I'm just gonna take everything out of my closet in my tops. That was all of my tops. I am gonna go over to that extra rack and grab any tops that I have over there and bring them onto this rack so that I can organize them. I got all of my tops out and I am gonna go through, I'm not gonna talk about every single piece, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm choosing to kind of get rid of some of the pieces. And also I'm gonna tell you how I organize them in my tops section so you know kind of how I categorize them. It's a great gray crop 
turtleneck but is a little tight on the arms whenever I wear it so I just don't wear it a ton so I think I will probably sell this to Crossroads because this is a current on trend top shop St. James sailor stripe shirt I don't actually wear this a lot right now but this is something that I will keep in my closet forever because to me it's super classic it will circle back around and I will never get rid of it. To me, it's something like those really classic pieces that aren't a trend that, you know, like a Chanel tweed jacket or a sailor stripe shirt or a leopard print turtleneck. To me, those are just staple classics that you should always have. Even if you're not wearing them, keep them. This is really cool, but I just seriously don't think I've worn this in three years. This is just not in great condition. I think I'm just gonna donate this. Another classic that I'm just gonna keep, I don't wear it all the time, but I think it's good to have just a great chambray shirt. This is from Madewell, I'll keep it. Side note, right now I'm doing editing and then if they're not organized how I want them, I'll go back and organize them, but just right now I'm just editing. This is a really cool draped shirt that uh, has this kind of peplum detail to it. I've worn it, love it, but I just haven't worn it in a long time, so I think I will sell this one. This is great. I feel like I can find another one. It's just kind of like a new Hawaiian shirt. This example of two, like I talked about, two pieces that I'll just always keep in my closet. I'll always keep turtlenecks for one. I just love a turtleneck for layering. I think every year I end up circling back to turtlenecks and leopard print to me is such a classic. In terms of clothes, I feel like sometimes you have a day in some clothes that is in a great day. And so sometimes you need to pass that on to kind of get rid of that feeling of that day because in some way some pieces of clothes carry that so much that you wear it again and it's like you still feel that same feeling that you felt when the first time you wore it. I've done my edit of my shirts. I got rid of some stuff. Not a ton, but here's my get rid of sell to Crossroads or sell to you guys. And then here's what I'm keeping. Got some fuel. Just gonna give you a quick breakdown of how I organized my pieces. Like I said, I do them by category and then also maybe sleeve length, color, that kind of stuff. So I do, you know, tank tops. Then I go into t-shirts and I even kind of categorize by like, these are sports t-shirts. These are just kind of striped t-shirts. And then I go into turtlenecks, which then blends into my turtle print leopard turtlenecks, which then makes me go into leopard print. Then I kind of go into romantic, bohemian, puff sleeves, tropical prints, polka dots, button downs, denim, button downs, my stripe button downs, then I went into plaids, then kind of ladylike quirky print button downs, then western, and then just my classic stripe there. That's how I organize my shirts. Here is my shirts all put back. You can see how my closet works with my top rack and all my shirts. And then we're gonna move down here and go to my blazers. Got the tunes on, I'm gonna pull out my jackets. <laughs> just had this thought. We are in February. Here in California, pretty much winter is going to end this month. I have a lot of my winter stuff on that rack and I'm thinking I'm going to eliminate that and put it, I have a back closet that I put things in and the very winter chunky layers. I'm going to move those to the back closet because it seems silly to put them in this closet now. So this is my hardest section to edit because I love outerwear. So I'm going to try to edit. Closet quick tip, best hangers that I have found um, are these velvet thin hanger. These are great. Clothes stay on them better. And I would say it's worth investing in to get rid of all of your hangers and just replace everything with this. I did this in my last closet clean out and I do think this has helped me stay more organized and sane in my closet because everything is on the same hanger. It's all the same length. It feels very wonderful. This is a great little quick throw on layer. I've had it though so long. I'm kind of tired of it and ready to pass it on piece that I've had for such a long time I think I might be ready to pass it on as well and this one because I've been a fashion blogger I need that I know that sounds silly but I've been a fashion blogger and I've documented what I've worn for so long that some of these things I've had for so long and I've worn them so many ways and I have photographed them so many ways that it almost feels like I'm not as inspired anymore by the pieces so I feel like just to kind of find maybe something new that sparks new feelings. 
This is something that I'm going to keep. I don't always wear it, but it's this great vintage. Reminds me very much of Chanel. I love the inner lining of it. And it is a classic, and so I want to hold on to it because I feel like I want to hold on to some of these pieces that are timeless and then as life takes me different ways I bring new life to them and this is one that I do want to hold on to. I'm planning on doing thrift hauls on IGTV and I did do one recently and I showed this piece which some of you may not have seen it so I thought I would just show you guys because it's so good. One of my favorite pieces in my closet is this jacket. I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of it just because it's so fun. I love it in the winter. One thing when organizing your closet I think is to think about where you have certain items maybe is one reason you're not wearing them. Example, I have this stripe cardigan that you guys saw me recently wear on Instagram, but then also I bought it um, a few months ago in my one hour to thrift video. I love it. I just hadn't worn it yet. And I think one reason is it's down in my outerwear instead of up in my tops. And when I wore it recently, I wore it as a shirt. And I think that's what changed it in my mind to help me think of it differently and style it differently. So I'm going to actually throw this up here into my top section. I think I'll wear it more. Even just changing the position of where something is so this jacket which I love um, is amazing and I kind of had it at the end with more of my fancy layer jackets and I found I wasn't wearing it so I'm I'm going to switch it up closer to my denim jackets my leather jacket my go-to throw on pieces and see if that kind of changes when I wear this because really a lot of times I do wear it more casual I just throw it on as like that extra little layer so I'm gonna change the position of where it is so that I wear it more often. Here is my newly organized outerwear. Got my track suit jacket, my leather jackets, denim jackets. I just changed this one to that kind of casual layer section. These are my little cropped jackets, plaid blazers, browns, and I go into kind of that really thick, more wintry. Um, and then these are kind of more my spring, which will eventually will probably move that way and some of this will get moved out once the weather's completely warm and then these are a little bit more of my fancy sparkly jackets and then my cardigans and sweater pieces at the end here the rack is all empty and ready for me to load up i keep shoes underneath so while this is all clear and open i'm going to organize and put some shoes into this section. This is the way that I organized my shoes. They're all here on the floor, which is not my favorite, but this is kind of what I have at the moment. The shoes back there are things that I'm not wearing that often, like fancy shoes or boots that I would wear, you know, more for snow or very cold weather. These are my go-to, what I wear all the time, right in this section here. These are my grab and go. And then over here are boots that I wear. You can see there's a rack that goes back here and these are not these are the shoes maybe are more seasonal or I'm not wearing as much that's how I organize my shoes outerwear complete tops complete so that's my whole section all done next section is pants these are hang 10 pants so cute but I think I'm gonna pass them on to one of you guys I feel like that's something with thrifting and vintage too is sometimes you kind of buy something you have a moment in it maybe a few moments that feel really fun and you create that vision in your head but then you're kind of done with it and I think that's what's fun about thrifting is that you can get really creative and go crazy and wear an, a really fun outfit but the pants were five dollars or six dollars or whatever and then you've had your moment in it and you can send it along on its way these are so good. <gasps> Should I sell them? Another one of those pieces that I've had and I've worn them a lot in a lot of different ways. So maybe I feel ready to pass them on. I will never get rid of these. These are so great. These are so great. I feel like a few of you have actually DM'd me to see if I will sell them. And I don't think I ever will because they're just high waist, they're cropped, they're wide legged. I wear them the spring, summer, fall, winter. I wear every season. These are so amazing. They're 70s. I got them at an antique mall. I've worn them and had fun in them. I'm ready to see somebody else style them up. Oh, I just wanted to mention most of my denim I keep in a drawer. I'll show you guys later. Um, but I do put a little bit of denim on this section and that's because I do my Ghani. And then I also do those amazing uh, Liz Wear denim 
that are very much what Isabel Morant is doing right now. They feel a little bit more specialty denim and their shape and everything doesn't fold up perfectly for my drawer. All my pants are back in my closet. Now I'm gonna grab this section here in my closet, which kind of goes into the other. And these are all suits, sets, overalls, jumpsuits. A smaller, easier section to edit. I did my suit challenge a few months ago and I bought a lot of suits for that. So I feel like I'm ready to part with a few suits. This is not one of them. I feel like this is such a classic great suit. I'm gonna keep it. But I do feel like I could get rid of some of my suits. So I'm gonna try to edit my suits. I love this suit. It's such a great fun suit. I love how it cinches at the waist, but I do think I'm ready to send it off to somebody else. This is another one that's really fun, but I do feel like I've worn it a few times and I've kind of had my moment in it and I feel like I'm ready to say goodbye. This is one that I feel like I'll always keep. It's my velvet greatness, I love it. These are my John Paul Gaultier crazy, amazing, ridiculous high waist suspender denim. I love these. I've had requests to sell these for a very long time. I don't know, but I'm editing and I feel like I have worn these so many ways. I love them, I've had moments in them and I might be ready to get these to somebody. The pants done. Now I've got my set suits, jumpsuits, all that stuff in this section here. <gasps> Moving on to dresses. All of my dresses, long kind of kimono and layers, and then also all of my long skirts are in this section. This is awesome. This is this gorgeous, amazing black trench jacket. I just find that I don't wear it. I think, I don't know why. I'm, I'm just not wearing it, so I feel like I need to pass it on. I'm not doing too great on editing. <laughs> I'm keeping a lot, I just, I don't know, I love my dresses. But this is an example. I really actually love this dress. It's so much fun and I like the idea, and I did. I styled this with combat boots. Um, so kind of doing the opposite of what this dress is. But I don't know, something about this dress the day I wore it, I just didn't feel awesome in it. So I think that's an example of when you just kind of like don't feel great in something. Um, pass it on. One of those pieces that I just wanted to show you guys that I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of. I just love this dress. This was such an amazing find and every time I wear it I feel dreamy and amazing and it's just so much fun. I'm finding so much joy from organizing my dresses. I think I have a hard time editing them because they're like friends. I think dresses feel like girlfriends and they're, I don't know, for me they're romantic and I just imagine places that I can go in them. I feel like I need to wear them more. Dresses are my thing that I really have a hard time letting go of that I just wanna save always. I organized my dresses. I really didn't edit out a ton, just a few pieces. Just so you kind of know how I organize my dresses, I like to do it again by category. So I have all of my kind of long uh, kimono coat type things. And then I do have all my long skirts. And then I go into I have my moo's. And then this whole section, let's see, that whole section is like prairie and 70s dresses. Then I go into 90s florals. I've got 80s florals. Uh, then I have my slip dresses and then kind of a random group of more short dresses. And then I have kind of some free people-y dresses over here. And then these are some of my summer summer dresses that I'll stay back. At the very back here are more occasion dresses that are very specific to a certain event or something. And so those will go into my back uh, vintage closet. My dreamy dress section, it makes me so happy. Seeing a bunch of ha dresses hanging is maybe one of the best things ever. Pulling out all of my dresses really made me realize how much I wanna wear more of my dresses. So I think I'm gonna give myself the challenge to once a week pull out one of my dresses and wear them. Dresses are great and I have so many fun ones. So I wanna start wearing my dresses more. So once a week, you guys, hold me accountable. I'm gonna start wearing a dress. We are getting down to the end. We are only left with skirts, which is just a small section. I am also going to do denim so that you guys can see what that looks like. Very back section here, my dirty clothes basket, and then this is where the sweaters are, dirty clothes basket, and then here is my skirt, so it's not a very big section. 
this skirt is amazing. I've had it for a very long time. It really has an amazing shape, but I just realized there's a ton of holes in it. Had some great memories in it. I'm ready to pass it on. It's too short. I don't wear short skirts. Really great and cool too, but I also have this one. Pretty much the same. This one just feels like fun right now. Example of a skirt I won't get rid of is this one. I just love this skirt. It's one of those pieces that I will hold on to. I'll circle in and out of it. I've worn it this year a few times and it kind of had been a while since I had worn it before. So I feel like every few years it circles back around and I love this skirt. It's such a fun piece. Edited it out a few. I have 14 skirts, so not a lot. Ooh, this is a really fun recent find it's sheer tiered so very much now for me <gasps> i'm done with this closet this is my denim drawer i do the file folder method i think that comes from the marie condo method i've actually gone through already and decided the denim that i was going to keep and get rid of basically you fold it you fold it again normally I would have stacked my jeans like this but fold it one more time real tight like that and then you have this nice little file folder and then you can put it like this that's it I did all of my denim I'm gonna put them away so that's where I keep my denim and that's how I fold them there is absolutely no hanging rack there no hanging rack here and all of my clothes are neatly organized in my closet i did it i cleaned out my closet and it feels so good it started around probably 10 30 this morning and it's about 3 30 right now so five hours that's not crazy it wasn't an overhaul because i i had done a little bit of a clean out earlier in this month and then i also had kept it organized it wasn't so much organizing as it was just editing down, getting rid of some pieces. I hope that was helpful for you guys to kind of see my whole process and you got the inside scoop on what my closet actually really looks like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments below and always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>